Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson on the financial statements balance sheet. In our previous lesson, we have seen about capital statement. Let me remind you some of the main points. Capital statement summarizes the change in owner's equity for a specific period of time. Data needed to prepare the capital statement are 1. The beginning balance of capital 2. Additional investment made during the fiscal period 3. The withdrawals during the fiscal period and 4. The net income or net loss for the fiscal period. Let's begin today's lesson with concepts to understand the balance sheet. Imagine that you make a list of everything that is important to you. Along with this list, you attach values to all of these items. Then, you make a list of everything that you owe to others. And again, you attach values to these items. Then. You subtract the total value of the second list from the total value of the first. You have just created the basic components of a balance sheet. A balance sheet reports the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity at a specific date. The purpose of these statements is to help users make better decisions. The components of the balance sheet are asset, liability, and capital. It is called a balance sheet because it confirms that the accounting equation is in balance. In a balance sheet, the first list of items is called assets. Assets are valuable resources owned by the business. Your second list of items is called liabilities. Liabilities are claims against assets, amounts owed to outsiders, such as notes payable, accounts payable, and salaries payable. The parties to whom the company owes money are normally called creditors. The creditors are said to have a claim against the assets. Your third list can be labeled owner's equity or capital. Owner's equity or capital reflects the amount the owner has invested in the firm. It is net worth of the business. It is the amount by which the business assets exceed the business liabilities. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. Briefly discuss the components of balance sheet.
students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. Assets are valuable resources owned by the business and can't be either short or long-term in nature. Liabilities are debts owed by a business. Owner's equity or capital reflects the net worth of the business. Students, do you know where you find information to prepare a balance sheet? The information is found in the balance sheet columns of the worksheet except for owner's equity or capital. The capital at the end of the fiscal period is the ending balance found on the capital statement. The information needed to prepare a balance sheet is found in three parts of the worksheet. They are 1. The heading 2. The account titles column and 3. The balance sheet columns. The heading of the worksheet contains the name of the business and the date for which the balance sheet is prepared. The account titles column supplies the names of the accounts listed on the balance sheet. The balance sheet columns of the worksheet contain all the amounts needed in preparing the balance sheet except the capital balance. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. Why is the worksheet capital balance not used in preparing a balance sheet? Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. When preparing the balance sheet, be careful not to use the capital account balance on the worksheet because it shows the capital account's beginning balance for the accounting period. Instead, Use the ending balance on the statement of owner's equity or capital statement which has already adjusted the capital accounts balance to reflect the company's net income or loss and any withdrawals made by the owner. Students, let's discuss the steps for preparing a balance sheet. 
Step 1. Create a heading. Write the name of your company at the top, the name of the financial statement or balance sheet, and the date of the recent period you are ending. This sounds easy, but it's very important. Step 2. Record your asset accounts. Assets are current and future benefits that companies will transform into revenue. Accounts are listed in order of liquidity. For example, if you had cash and equivalents, this would be the first account listed under assets since cash is most liquid. Step 3. Prepare your liability accounts. Liabilities are obligations that are owed by a company. Step 4. Complete the owner's equity section. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. Based on the following data, calculate what would be the total of assets on the balance sheet. Abdi Ayele has a capital of 14,000, computer equipment worth 2,000, accounts payable 5,000, and cash 17,000 bir. Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let me provide you the correct answers. Total asset is equal to total liability plus capital. Total asset is equal to account payable plus Abdi Ayeles capital. Total asset is equal to 5,000 plus 14,000. Total asset is equal to 19,000 bir. Students, can you explain how income statements and capital statements are interrelated with balance sheet? Let's see how they are interrelated. The balance sheet is prepared last. It includes the final balances of each of the elements listed in the accounting equation under assets and liabilities. The balance in capital comes from the statement of owner's equity. 
Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned how to prepare a balance sheet. Basically, we have discussed the following. A balance sheet reports the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity at a specific date. The information is found in the balance sheet columns of the worksheet except for owner's equity or capital. This brings us to the end of our lesson this year. See you next year in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students. Thank you.